Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Kay, back at it with a new video. Today I want to tell you all about a great time I had yesterday at the Black Ensemble Theater, which is located at 4450 North Clark Street in Chicago. The intersection is, is Montrose and Clark. Wow, did I have a great time. You know, in fact, every time I go to the Black Ensemble Theater, I have a great time. The theater is beautiful, it's clean, it's well kept. Um, they have a valet on the first level, so you don't have to park your car on the street. And I believe they have the parking lot across the street as well as part of the valet. And it's reasonably priced. It was, I paid... Uh, $10 for the valet to park inside the building now, plus tip, of course. And the staff was super friendly. The ushers were super friendly. The views in the theater, every seat, you get a really good view of the stage, which makes it even more nicer. So every seat in the theater, you know, you're gonna get a good view. I generally myself, I like to sit in the balcony and I love sitting in the balcony. The view is amazing. Then they have the band. The band is just very professional and the music and the sound is just unbelievable. Then you have the actors and the actresses. All of those are top-notch uh, performers. And it was just, it was just an amazing time. The show went, I think the show was like two, two and a half hours, which is, you know, decent. You know, you're not there all night, but it, it, it's enough time to really get into what they're trying to, what they're trying to do. Um, I went to see Earth, Wind, and Fire, and it was called The Reasons, a tribute to Earth, Wind, and Fire, and it ran from April the 16th uh, through, uh, no, I'm sorry, it ran from, let's see, it ran from March 5th through April the 16th, and I went on the last day, and let me tell you, it was a packed house, and they did not disappoint you had an uh, actor by the name of Christian Denzel Bufford. He played the older Maurice White. Then you had a R.J. Griffith. He played the younger Maurice White. And, you know, they would kind of go back and forth, you know, with these two guys. And, you know, it was so realistic. It was amazing. And... Uh, Christian Denzel Buffer and R.J. Griffith, they can sing too. And so they play, they sang all of pretty much uh, Maurice White, you know, hits. And, you know, you really thought that it was Maurice White up there singing. It was so realistic. And then they had uh, Gregory Stewart who uh, sang, who portray, portrayed Philip Bailey. Now that's a that's a big shoes to fill, and when I um, purchased the tickets, I said right then and there, are they gonna attempt to try to do Philip Bailey role, or are they just gonna you know uh, skip that because you know Philip Bailey is an amazing singer, and he's a unique singer, and he's got that high pitch, and whoever tried to portray him. Those are some pretty big shoes to fill. But I must tell you, Gregory Stewart nailed it. He nailed it. He sang a couple of uh, Philip Bailey uh, lead songs, and he nailed it. He got the high pitches. He did everything. You would have sworn that was Philip Bailey up there singing. And the crowd appreciated it. He were getting... A standing ovations that he was just that amazing up there playing Philip Bailey. And the rest of the cast were phenomenal. They they nailed it as well. 
it was dancing, it was singing, it was some sadness in it, it was happiness in it, it was some struggle in it for Maurice White. And you know, and they just put it together to the point where, you know, you were able to go along with what they was trying to portray about Maurice White life. Um, Jackie Taylor, uh, she got up at the end and she brought uh, Maurice White brother up there, Verdine White, and his wife, Shelly Clark. They was like the guest appearance where they came up and said a few words. And even Verdine himself said when it, one of the actors portrayed him, it reminded him so much of himself it was like he was seeing his life on stage and he was really touched by it. Earth, Wind & Fire, a tribute was unbelievable. The actors and actress put on a great performance. And like I say, I've been there many times and each time I go, you know, they never disappoint. Now, they got more shows coming up they got the uh, Real Housewives of Motown. That's coming up on May 20th through July the 9th. And then they got Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. And that's uh, August 19th through October the 1st. And the one I really want to see, and this is an old one that they, they bring it back from time to time, The Other Cinderella. And that's November the 19th through December 31st. And I can't wait to see that one because... Every time they bring it back, I be, man, I got to go see that. I got to go see it. So I got to make sure I go see it. Uh, like I say, the theater is clean. The staff is overly friendly to you. The ushers are more than helpful. The music is unbelievable. The actors and actresses are superb. Uh, it's a great evening. For the price they charge, I think, it was like $65 per person. So it was me and my friend that went. So that wasn't bad. And then, you know, uh, $10 for Valley Park and indoors, you know, you can't beat that. So, and then they had um, refreshments. You know, I think they sold like beer and wine and water and stuff like that. But it was just a great time to be had. So if you ever in... In the, on the north side, and you want to see a great performance live at the Black Ensemble Theater, which is located at 4450 North Clark Street, you're in for a treat. So that's all I have for you. Again, this is Kate, back at it with a new video.